so in this session we'll create a global class wherein here we have created a local class in which we have created three methods set increment and get and we have done the implementation for this exactly the same process we are going to do it in the global class which we can make use of in multiple programs so for that we need to go to sc24 transaction sc24 transaction in which we have to start it with z so i'll go for zdxc underscore uh, underscore uh, c1 c8 So we'll click on this local object now. Now, here I have selected as a class. Okay, so this is a class. In the class, what are the things that we have discussed here? We have defined. We have defined a attribute called a, which is a variable under the private section. Let's do that in the global class now. How do we do that? Is we'll go to attributes and here we'll give it as a and the level. The level we have is instance. A static we'll discuss about the static later so we'll go ahead with the instance Yeah, instance attribute. It happens to be an instance attribute. And uh, visibility will give it as private. Visibility is private. That is visibility is private, we'll go with visibility private. So we can select it from the drop down. So we given the attribute A instance, uh, visibility A, visibility private, and then we'll go for the methods. Num numc underscore 5 so this is what we have now methods we have set and level is level is instance method So we have this set 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 method. So if you double click on the set method, you can write the logic here in the set method. But we need to first assign the parameters, right? So for set method, we need to assign the parameters. For assigning the parameters, we need to click on this parameters and uh, we have to assign the import parameters for set method, which we'll do now. So we just defined A as uh, the you know, instance attribute, visibility is uh, private, and numc underscore 5. This is what we are defined here. 
and then we went to methods in the methods we are given the first method that is set and the level is public instance method and the visibility is public set method and then we have we will go for parameters in the parameters we will just go for the parameter in type numc underscore 5 okay. this is importing parameter we can select it from the drop down actually this is an import one because if you remember we have given it as import parameter right so we will give it as import parameter here and this is for the set method Bang. Then we have increment. For increment, we don't have any. We don't have any. Uh, you know, parameters. So we go for instance parameter, public, and increment. Now we have get instance parameter public get method. So we'll go for this in say get parameters and the parameters will give the exporting parameter that is uh, out. This is type is in exporting type is exporting we'll select it as exporting here because this is exporting so we'll just give it as exporting and then we have to go ahead with type is um, numc underscore five Okay, this is exporting parameter and we have maintained it for what we have made it for method get so for set double click on this yes and when we double click on this we will be allowed to write the logic here so the logic here is uh, in is equals to a or say a is equals to a is equals to n because n is the parameter that we are passing here a is equals to n that's it save back and increment we just need to write a is equals to a plus 1 a is equals to a plus 1 Then we have get in the get we'll go for out is equals to a which a uh, a is equals to out no. a is equals to out or out out is equals to a. out is equals to a because this a value has to be assigned to out and then how it will be assigned to that value okay that's it fine okay. save that's it so what we have done what we just did we maintained one attribute called a which is of private visibility and we we maintain methods set increment and get and for these methods we have given this as public visibility instance and for each method we have maintained and for set we have maintained the uh, import parameter and for get we have uh, maintained the export parameter exporting parameter and for increment we don't have any parameters right now uh, we have done it and then we have to we have also maintained the program for the set in the set we have gone for this uh, a is equals to n and uh, if you just double click on it it will take you to the program this is the coding so increment 
for increment we are going to a is equals to a plus 1 and get for get we have written out is equals to a this is what we have done so once it's been done we will activate this so once it's active zdxc underscore c1 zdxc underscore c1 is the one it is the class so we will go ahead and uh, set dxc underscore c1 this is what we need to call it into our program in sc38 or sc80 wherever it's comfortable you can do it it's better you do it from sc80 only it is equal let's copy this global whatever program we have done here and this what we will do is we will simply delete this because this is all implemented in the in the global now so we will delete all these things So all this is not required now. You can directly start the program and give the reference to the global class that we have created. What's the global class that we have created here? Let me show that. So this is dxc underscore c1. So we just need to give here z dxc underscore c1. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's the only addition that we are doing it, and all the thing that we have done on the top will be taken in taken from the global one. Well, let's keep as num c underscore five because there we have given the same way. Let me underscore five. Instead of integer, I gave it as num c underscore five here. In the global class, because in the global class, it will be expecting a data element. So we have we have passed the value five, and uh, we have done. 2, 10, 20, 10 times, so it will be like 15. And we'll come. It's been done. Uh, we can activate. We can execute this. Once we execute, we'll get this fifteen. Yeah. Okay. So this is about uh, the global class. So instead of doing it in the local one, we have done it in the global class.